part of all mythologies. Mythology is a study of human nature. We all have myths that we come from, family myths, stories that we've been told by our community. This legacy of humanity from the religious traditions to the artistic production. Uh, its sources are ancient, but it pulsates right to the present day. The real part of the story comes out of the Greek mythologies. Fantastic stories. Uh, that humans have told since the beginning of time. Well, I know one of the deepest draws, and we hear over and over again from students, is that this program is unique, and it's the thing they've been waiting for, and that seems to find them, and that they feel called to. There's nothing that I've found anywhere in the country quite like the program that I'm in here. Discover the power of myth in a unique graduate degree program. Pacifica Graduate Institute's MA PhD in Mythological Studies is the country's only doctoral program devoted to the study of myth. I feel that what we're studying is not only myth in the classic sense of a narrative relating to the gods, but we're really studying the mythological imagination and the, the psyche. So, um, what I like to underscore is that this is an inter broad interdisciplinary program. The MYTH program, the way we've configured it, uh, looks uh, in, in three areas. And the first of those are religious traditions. In fact, we look at uh, ten of them, and sometimes more. But uh, it, it's a range that is as diverse as Greek and Roman traditions, Egyptian, Jewish, Christian, Islamic, Hindu, Buddhist, African-American, and Native traditions of the Americas. These are the standard fare that we look at in the religious tradition area. Uh, and that can include the classic texts, but also the oral traditions, the rituals, the symbols, and iconography. That all belongs to one, one domain. Now, a second domain would be literary texts, both ancient, you know, uh, Greek classics, for example, comedies and tragedies, but uh, works such as uh, The Divine Comedy by Dante, or Moby Dick by Melville, or Toni Morrison's Beloved, works right up to the present day that convey rich mythic themes, archetypal themes about life and human struggles. And the third area uh, that focuses on depth psychology, uh, particularly the Jungian and archetypal lenses, looks at a variety of things that includes films, uh, but also uh, motifs that are occurring in contemporary culture. If a person is looking for a, a, a broadly based, humanities-oriented um, series of courses that would help them see, for example, the same phenomenon from a whole variety of different angles of vision, then the myth program is where they need to be. The members of Pacifica's faculty bring a passion for education and a wealth of real-world experience into the classroom. As soon as I got in the classes, I realized that Pacifica had basically assembled the best list of professors I had ever seen. And every class I go to, I just feel grateful for it because these people are amazing. Well, not only um, were the faculty very well trained, and had a lot of teaching experience in other institutions. But the faculty, almost to a person, were uniquely gifted teachers. Pacifica's unique three-day learning format makes it possible for students from around the world to pursue a graduate degree. So the program allows people to maintain their home, come in once a month for three days of eight-hour classes in which they take a third of a class each day, they disappear for a month, return for the second third, disappear for a month and return for a third time, and that's the quarter. When we come together, we all look forward to it, like a whole week leading up to it. It's like, can't wait for myth camp. Students in the Mythological Studies program gather once a month for three days of study on one of two Pacifica campuses, both of which are located between the coastal foothills and the Pacific Ocean, a few miles south of Santa Barbara, California. Both campuses are magnificent. The program 
is extraordinary. It is a real gift to give oneself to come here and experience this in-depth intellectual program. You owe it to yourself to just, just come and see. Just have a look because it's magnificent. On the campuses of Pacifica Graduate Institute is Opus Archives and Research Center, a nonprofit living archive which houses Joseph Campbell's collected works. I was handed um, the, Joseph, the Joseph Campbell interviews with Bill Moyers and told to watch them. And I'd watched them years ago when they first came out because I was a writer and everybody did. And I just finished watching them and I heard somebody talking about this great school that they were going to, that they'd just gotten, ex gotten accepted to. Um, they had the, the Joseph Campbell archives and I thought, wow, what a great place. It just amazes me that when we have an opportunity to teach myth, we're having an opportunity to talk about the way in which stories, you know, and I've always loved stories, but the way in which stories somehow have the power to structure society, to define morality, uh, to describe the human relationship to the, to the outer world, to the natural world, and maybe most significantly to describe us to ourselves uh, in a deeper and more complex and maybe even often more challenging way than any other kind of talking, yeah, any other kind of description. And that we have students coming who are psychologists, we have students coming who are business people, who are lawyers, who are physicians, and so on. And so although it's academically rigorous, uh, we do have a sense that we want to gradually introduce people into what academic rigor in a humanities kind of program entails.